Ever wonder what an ICBM is? Let's break it down. ICBM stands for Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. It's a long-range guided missile that can deliver nuclear, chemical, biological or conventional warheads over vast distances, typically more than 5,500 kilometers or 3,400 miles. Many modern ICB MIS can travel more than 10,000 kilometers or 6,200 miles. ICB MIS follow a ballistic trajectory, meaning they're powered only during the initial launch phase. After that, they just coast along a parabolic path until they hit their target. Most ICBMs are multi-stage rockets. That means they have multiple stages or sections that burn their fuel and then detach. This reduces the weight of the missile and increases its speed. ICBMs travel at extremely high speeds, Mach 15 to 20 plus, about 15,000 to 20,000 kilometers per hour, or 9,300 to 12,400 miles per hour during re-entry. ICBMs often have multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles or MOVs which means that a single missile can deliver several warheads to different targets. These warheads can be nuclear and have yields ranging from hundreds of kilotons to multiple megatons. Land-based ICBMs are typically launched from silos, but mobile launchers are also used. Some countries, including the United States and Russia, also have submarine-launched ballistic missiles, which are a type of ICBM. ICBMs are a key part of a country's nuclear triad which also includes submarine-launched missiles and strategic bombers. They're also a deterrent because they can reach targets quickly and destroy them. The main limitation of ICB MIS is that once they're launched, they're very hard to stop. Missile defense systems like the US GMD system can help intercept limited attacks, but there's no defense against a large-scale ICBM attack. So those are the basics of ICB MIS. If you want to know more, there are plenty of resources available.